Right, hello YouTubers and welcome to another review by Dalek Dog Hub. Now today in this video we're going to be reviewing the 11th Doctor with Setson Hat, or in other words, the Cowboy Hat. Right, before I start the review, I'd just like to say that this, this is Wave 1 of the Series 6 figures. Right, to kickstart the review I'll be talking about articulation. To start off with, the feet have limited movement. Moving on, the knees can move up and down uh, because of a joint there. Uh, he can move by the waist, 360 degrees. His hands can move 360 degrees. He can move by the elbows, 360 degrees. His head isn't movable at all. Now, I don't believe this is just down to a stiff joint. I believe this was produced like this. And I'm not surprised with the large cowboy hat he's wearing. Right, now moving on to detail. He comes equipped with a brown bow tie, his usual 11th Doctor suit, but with black padding on the uh, elbows. He has black trousers that obviously have a lot of articulation in. And we be I believe he is wearing the same boots as last time, but more of a rustic look, if you'd ask me. Now, as usual, his outfit's got pockets, and underneath he's got a white shirt, which I think is another good feature. Because they didn't have to add that in, they could have added any colour, and I'm pleased they added that, because that's the original 11th Doctor shirt. Now, moving on to the head, um, it's just an 11th Doctor figure with an added on hat. To be honest, it's got a lot more detail, and to be honest, I think the face is a lot better than the previous Matt Smiths in Series 5 and 6. Right, now moving on to accessories. The Sonic Screwdriver is an accessory, and it's probably one of the most detailed ones I've ever seen in the Doctor Who figure waves. It has lots of detail, and it's even extended, they've added that much detail in. Another sort of accessory is the hat, but unfortunately it is not removable. And I think that's a big disappointment to the whole figure itself, because if it was removable, that'd be perfect for figure series. And, to be honest, it will just make the figure a lot better by itself. Right, the overall detail of this figure, I'd rate a 9 out of 10 for it being really jointed, really detailed, and the brilliant Sonic Screwdriver accessory that comes with it. The overall figure out of 10, I'd rate a 10 out of 10 for it being really accessible. And to be honest, I think it just wins me over for all of the Series 6 figures. Some people might not say that, but to be honest, I think it's a brilliant figure that should have brought be should have not been brought out, but they did, and they certainly won me over for it. Bye for now, YouTube. My update's coming soon by Dialect Dog Hub.